Hi, sewing friends. On behalf of Uncommon Threads, I'd like to welcome you to our first video in a series of videos on Saki products. Today's featured product is Saki Puffy Foam. My name is Michelle Umloff, and I'll be making this presentation to you. Saki Puffy Foam is an exciting way to add life to your sewing and embroidery projects. It adds just a subtle detail that is really going to make your work pop. You'll achieve more professional looking details because the, three, the Puffy Foam gives you a 3D effect to your sewing projects so they won't be so flat. We're going to compare Puffy Foam to Craft Foam. Puffy Foam was designed specifically to be used with sewing and embroidery machines. Therefore, it's a higher quality film. It's clean, it's safe to use, it will perforate cleanly when it's time to remove it, and any little excess things that stick out can easily be shrunk away with heat. On the other hand, craft foam is just that. It's craft foam. It's intended be, to be used for children and crafting projects, not with your sewing machine. Puffy Foam is a high quality film made of ethylene vinyl acetate. That product is non-toxic, acid free, water resistant. You can machine wash it and it's safe to put it in the dryer on low though it will shrink just a little bit. You should be cautioned though that you do not want to take anything that contains Puffy Foam in it to the dry cleaner because it will absorb the chemicals and it will become extremely flammable and hazardous. You can use Puffy Foam using your sewing machine's decorative stitches, but you want some to select some stitches that have a little bit of fill to them and I'll explain that in this next segment. When you're looking for an embroidery design, it's best to see if the embroidery design was digitized for puffy foam. If it doesn't indicate that it was digitized for puffy foam, it's pretty safe to say that it's not. You can still use puffy foam with other designs though. And what you're looking for is a design that has wide satin stitches versus filled stitches. So satin stitches um, have like take the letter T for example fill stitches have a real wide zigzag um, I'm sorry satin stitches have a real wide zigzag and they're really compressed close together fill stitches on the other hand um, have kind of like a little intricate design in them or they break that down into several components and it's not exactly what we're looking for it's not the best match for the puffy foam Embroidery designs should have an underlay on them, so it's important to test, sew out a test stitch first and watch your machine sew. An underlay will provide coverage, it will help perforate the, the puffy foam, and it's going to hold the puffy foam in place. And the best way to know if your design has this is to watch it uh, sew out. And an un underlay is just kind of some, some st stitching in in the embroidery design it just kind of put makes a foundation. It's important to know that you might have to lower your tension when working with puffy foam because your ideal tension means that the uh, top thread will wrap around to the back slightly. So what you're looking at here is the back side of a test design that I sewed out um, just to gauge my tension settings. The white thread in the center is my bobbin thread and then the two columns of colored thread on either side that's my top thread coming through to the back and that's what you want. This is kind of non not the typical approach when you're sewing, you generally want to have nice even stitches, but for decorative purposes, you want your tension to wrap, uh, to be a little looser and so that your thread can come around to the back. When selecting a needle and working with puffy foam, go ahead and select a needle that is appropriate for the fabric and the stabilizer that you're using. The puffy foam is not going to add much difference to all of that. Select either a puffy foam that will match your thread color or the fabric color. Puffy foam be, can be layered into any thickness as long as it will fit under your presser foot. If you're sewing decorative stitches, 
you can use, still use multiple layers of puffy foam. You might want to apply a little bit of KK2000 in between those two layers just to keep them together so things sew out nice and easily. And you can also use multiple layers of puffy foam to really create true 3D effects. Puffy foam is available in 12 different colors and two different thicknesses. The sheets are about 6 by 9 and they're sold in individual 3 packs or you can get the 12 pack assortment. And this is just another picture to help you gauge the true color of the puffy foam sheets. We're going to be creating a project in our next video that will work with puffy foam and this is just a, an alternative approach to creating an in the hoop postcard and this is an, an embroidery design that we'll be making. Here is your supply list. This supply list will be provided to you in a PDF format that you can go to Uncommon Thread and uh, download it. Look for the how-to videos. It'll be in there and you'll have your supply list to, um, to print out. I'm going to go over just a couple of the products that are used in this project. There's the Saki Fusion Stitch. This is a permanent stabilizer and it has a fusible webbing on one side. The package contains really great instructions so it will give you all the tips that you need in order to apply this and you always want to remember to test first because if your irons too hot the fuse and stitch could warp. Fuse and stitch is available in a convenient one yard package and an 8 inch and 20 inch roll as well as a bolt. Now you have the choice of using either a rayon socky thread, a socky rayon thread, or the poly deco thread. Now keep in mind that the industry standards are that um, your decorative stitches and embroidery designs are digitized specifically for 40 weight rayon thread unless you're told otherwise. So this is kind of like your your uh, safe bet to use the rayon thread. It can also be used in the bobbin and generally you want to use a 1280 needle or larger. And rayon thread is color fast, but you cannot use any bleach or whiteners. That's kind of like the big difference uh, between uh, polyester and rayon thread. Some people don't prefer polyester because of the fact that you can't use those type of whiteners on it, and it's a really good thread. It's also machine and uh, machine washable, and you can send it to the dry cleaner. Poly Deco, on the other hand, some people like Poly Deco because it's kind of it's got really got a really pretty um, hue to it. It really illuminates. It's available in the 40 weight. It's only available in the 40 weight. The Poly Deco, and it is 100% polyester. It's washable, and it's safe to use those uh, bleach and whiteners with it. It's available in these smaller snap spools a king spool as well as a, a really big spool called the jumbo cone. We're also going to use the uh, polyester bobbin thread. This is a really lightweight thread. It's ideal to use bobbin thread when you're doing embroidery projects because a little bit goes a long ways. That means you won't be changing your bobbin frequently. And then also, not only that, unless you want the back side of your project to look as, just as pretty as the top side, you don't have to waste any of your thread. You can just use either a standard black or white and no one's really going to see it. The bobbin thread is um, available in the snap spools, the small ones, and the larger ones, the king spools. An alternative to the lightweight uh, bobbin thread is the poly light thread uh, made by Saki, which is a, a 60 weight thread as well. And that's if you want the back side to look just as nice as the top side. KK2000 is a really great product. It's a green product to use. It's safe. Um, it's not flammable. And it's really cool because this little tiny can has just as much glue in it as the larger cans. And then since it's smaller, it's, it's easier to use. And the really cool thing about the um, KK2000 is that it has this low pressure propellant, which means that it comes out um, exactly the way that you want. So you won't have this big puff cloud of 
glue floating around in the air. It, um, it's actually heavier than air, so it will go down, and then it's not going to cause any problems with getting in your machines and things like that. And it's probably a really good alternative for some people who have allergies and things like that. And it's totally safe to use with your machine because it's not going to gum it up. And it's, it'll, it'll go away either um, on its own in a couple days or with applying heat from your iron. So keep that in mind, that's very important. There are three different books out there uh, that feature various projects with puffy foam. The Dimensional Concepts in Saki is a book that is um, that was an, an older book. It's about ready to go out of print. So if you can get your fingers on a copy, that is going to be like the last you know one that you'll be able to get. Uh, Saki Secrets to Successful Stabilizing and Successful Applique both contain uh, a variety of projects using the puffy foam. Just a little bit more, the, the dimensional concepts in Saki. Um, another great reason to get your fingers on this book is because it has a technique in there where you can create faux leather using the puffy foam. So the Puffy foam can be used for a variety of other projects. You can stamp on it and you can use it for other crafting projects as well. So here's a picture of all the different projects, products that we're going to be using in our project in the next video. Remember, Uncommon Thread has 15% off retail every single day. And that is really good because these are great pro products to use and that's a great price. So my name is Michelle Umloff. I am a certified Saki teacher and I teach online classes. They're all Saki licensed classes. If you come to my website www.sosimplified.com and become one of my sewing friends, I will give you access to the class called Not Your Grandma's Bowl for free just to test out my classroom setup to see how you like it. My newest addition to the classroom area is the So Fabulous VersaPad. I'm out there in iTunes as well. I have a podcast called the So Simplified Podcast, and I'm also on Facebook as So Simplified. So look me up, give me a like, and check out my website. We at Uncommon Threads, thank you very much for joining us in this video. Remember, we have 15% off retail every day. So visit us at www.uncommonthread.com. If you have any questions about Puffy Foam or the line of Saki products, as well as the other products in our store, you can email us at uncommonthread at comporium.net. And be sure to find us on Facebook and give us a like 